now guys let's try to understand the panorama deployment modes what is the panorama deployment overview so panorama we can deploy in two types of deployment we are having for panorama we can do deploy in a basic deployment and another one we have a distributed deployment so guys this basic deployment we can do if you have a firewall or a site which is like if you just have around two firewalls or four firewalls or six firewalls or eight firewalls like if you have a less firewalls in your organization you can go with the basic deployment but if you have a firewalls like 10 20 25 1000 2000 in that case we have to go with the distributed deployment in basic deployment we will configure panorama for managing the firewall configuration and we can also configure the panorama for log collection means we will run the panorama in panorama panorama mode where panorama will do the firewall config management and it will also do the log management means both capabilities we will get into the same panorama device but if you will go for a distributed deployment in this distributed deployment we generally have a dedicated panorama for firewall management which includes your wildfire device management and your log collector management and we have a dedicated panorama for log collections we have here dedicated panoramas for log collection if you will see this particular slide here this is the basic deployment i have a panorama i have these managed firewalls means i can able to manage the configuration of these firewalls i can able to do the software management license management all these things of these devices but apart from this they can also send the logs means we can also manage the centralized logged from this but centralized logs which is coming from these managed devices to panorama means same panorama we are using for management of your devices and for log collections now in distributed deployment we have a dedicated panorama this panorama we will use just for the managing purpose just for the management purpose of your devices means we can do the <coughs> sorry about that guys we can just do the config management software and license management software upgrade downgrade content and license management but for the log collection we have a dedicated panorama which we are running in a log collector mode or this panorama is running or we have a dedicated panorama is for log collection purpose all your firewalls they will send the logs to this particular log collectors means let's suppose you have divided your deployment into five regions then like you have divided your deployment in five regions like let's suppose you have a business in america or usa let's so you have some some business or some site in your europe region you <coughs> let's suppose you have some site in asia region okay let's suppose you have some site in emea region in that case what we can do we can put a dedicated log collectors for emea region dedicated log collector for asia region dedicated log collector for europe region and dedicated log collector for us region means let's suppose in us region you have a 20 firewalls in europe let's suppose we have a 16 firewalls in asia let's suppose i have another another 20 firewalls and in emea region let's suppose i have around 14 firewalls means what i can do i can configure the dedicated log collector so emea log collector will receive the logs from these 40 firewalls 14 firewalls and asia log collector will receive the logs from these 20 firewalls and europe log collector will receive the logs from these 16 firewalls and usa log collector will receive the logs from these 20 firewalls and after that from this central panorama we can basically 
get the reporting. We can just do the report query and we can able to get all the reports here basically. So it happens in this way. Okay, this is your distributive deployment. Now, there is a one more topic I have mentioned here, guys, which is your Palo Alto Panorama two tier architecture means two tier architecture means what we have. Here we have a firewalls and we have a panorama means we just have a two component. These are the firewalls who will process your users traffic. Means your data traffic. Is processed by these managed devices and your panorama. It just do the management. It will do the config management means we have the control plane here. Into this panorama, you can say control plane, but we are not controlling the things on these devices like all the things like we have for other solution, but at least we are controlling the configuration and all such kind of things, right? This is a two tier architecture of your Palo Alto Panorama solution. Now, guys, just tell me one thing in this Panorama, or oh guys, your Palo Alto firewall journey, it has a two things. It has a management plane and it has a data plane. We have generally two planes in your firewall. So guys, in your panorama, what we have? We have a data plane or we have a management plane. What you will see in your panorama? Here we just have a management plane. Data plane is responsible for processing the user's traffic. Okay, management plane is responsible for your config management, your reporting, and your logging stuff. Okay, just remember these things. Now, let's go here down. Let's try to understand, guys, Panorama operating system now. So, <coughs> whatever Panorama devices we are having, either virtual device or either physical device, or either physical appliance or either virtual appliance, whatever device we will be having on these devices, we used to install one operating system which is known as panorama operating system in sort this is known as pan os this particular pan os is a customized version of your vsd linux so what they have done they have taken the vsd linux Palo Alto have just taking the BSD Linux because it's just an open source Linux flavor and they have done some changes. They have done some customization. What they have done some customization and after doing these customization, what they have done, they have added the pan application. What? they have added the pan applications means if we will put these two things together whatever os you will see that os is known as pan os because your palo alto operating system is a customized version of your linux which means in your linux if you are aware about that your linux have some demons some processes right guys just tell me one thing if you have installed the web services in your Linux, what is the process which is started running in your Linux flavor? Let's say you have enabled the SHS in your Linux, which service or daemon will take care of all the request and response which is coming from your coming for SHS. 
SSHD and for web services, HTTPD, right? So guys, similar because you know, Palo Alto operating system or Panorama OS is also a customized version of your Linux, which means it is also having all these type of processes which are running, right? And if you want to check these processes, how you will check? You can go here into the Panorama. Let's wait here. Palo Alto also. Let's wait for a minute, guys. And if you run this command, so system software status, and you can see all these processes which are running. Guys, let me tell you one thing. Let's suppose if I want to log in into this panorama, I want to log in into this panorama with the help of SHS. And after that, I will enter the username and password, which is admin and admin at 123. Now, guys, tell me who will process this SHS related packets. And when I will enter the username and password, which demon will process this particular request? There are some people from my advanced tech troubleshooting batch. So I am expecting this answer. So I got lots of good answers from the people. So there is a process which is SSHD who will take care of your SHS related packets. And after that, when you will enter admin, username and password, this thing will take care by the author D daemon, authentication daemon. Now, if somebody is entering the wrong username and password, which daemon log file guy you will check? Simply, if you will, you can check the author D daemon log file and you will get your answer. That's how we will do the troubleshooting. So I will cover all of them in your troubleshooting sessions. Don't worry. Okay. So guys, Panorama operating system, I hope everyone understood. Yes, no? On the chat? So I got one question from Emo. In distributed deployment, are the firewall managed directly by the Panorama or through the log collectors? So the answer is we will manage your firewalls through the Panorama. These log collectors, they are just for collecting the logs. That's it. They are just collecting the logs. Even though we will manage these log collectors, what type of configuration we have to do, we will do from the Panorama. Okay, I hope I answered your question, Emo. You can reply on the chat. 